so the Taylor Academy 12. I started thinking back to when I bought my first guitar, when I got my first guitar. All right, so I've been chatting with a guy who's selling a bunch of gear actually, but it's mostly electric guitars and some stuff I wasn't super interested in, but the last photo on the listing is a Taylor uh, Academy 12, which is a great starter guitar, great guitar for the Dream Guitar Challenge. And so let's go check it out. All right, so a couple of things about this deal. Um, there were not a lot of details about really anything on the listing. Um, and so I'm just kind of going off of taking him at his word and taking things at face value. I asked him for a description and um, he said the guitar is in perfect condition. So I'm hoping it's something that maybe he picked up as like a learner guitar and maybe just grew out of it quickly or uh, just hasn't found much of a use for an acoustic guitar or something like that. And it really is kind of hardly used. Um, but I just want to make sure that I look everything over carefully and verify the condition. And uh, so I usually bring a couple of tools, um, a tuner, a pick. Uh, sometimes I'll bring like a, a a ruler to measure the action at the 12th fret, stuff like that. But on a newer guitar, on a Taylor guitar, that's usually set up super well. Um, I think that kind of stuff's going to stand out pretty naturally to me. So I'm not too worried about that in this case. And um, I'm really excited just to see, see what this is. I think the Taylor Academy series are excellent and really ideal for someone who's just learning to play and wants a professional level guitar on a beginner budget. And I think it's a great entry into the Taylor line and um, with their standard of production and their standard of quality, you can get into a really nice guitar for only a couple hundred bucks. So All right, let's see what we got. Great Taylor gig bag. There we go. Some really cool bear clawing, I guess. I would describe that as definitely not perfect condition. There's a little bit of play wear um, coming off the where a pick guard could be. Um, not anything crazy or anything, just honest play wear. But otherwise, really great and super stoked. Taylor Academy 12. All right, so the Taylor Academy 12. I've been wrestling with how to wrap up this video for a couple weeks now because it started to feel like I was doing a review video and that's not really what I wanted this to be. And so I started thinking back to when I bought my first guitar, when I got my first guitar. Actually, when I first started hunting for my first acoustic guitar, I really, really wanted a Taylor. And at that time, that would have been probably like the 114 was what I was looking at. And it was just a little too expensive to find one new. And so I reached out 
uh, to a family member who was really into music and, and guitars and he started looking around for guitars for me and turned me on to a Guild guitar, which became my first uh, acoustic guitar. It was acoustic electric, it was a dreadnought size body with a cutaway, and I just played that thing to death. There was, uh, it had worn away right here, like starting to become maybe even a hole in the wood between the, the, the high E string and the pick guard, lots of fret wear, dings all over. Um, I just played it all the time and I fell in love with music because of that first guitar. And so I think that's where I wanna land with this video is just to emphasize if this is something that you're looking for, this might very well be your first guitar or a first guitar for a child or friend. And it's so important where your first guitar is. And I think uh, if this is one that you're looking at, people are gonna love it. Uh, you're gonna love playing it. You're gonna get a lot of playtime out of this. You're gonna get a lot of life out of this. And a lot of memories will be made with the first guitar. I know for me, when I think back to different songs that I wrote or chords that I learned or little licks that I learned, um, memories with friends and playing uh, around town are all tied up with that first guitar. And so, um, you know, every guitar is special in its own way, but I think particularly the guitar that you learn to play on is really, really special. So I hope someone will pick this up and really enjoy it, uh, make a lot of memories on something like this. Thanks for watching. If you want to like and subscribe to this channel, you can follow along as I continue on the Dream Guitar Challenge. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.